Hello and welcome to my channel, I am Zodiac Bandit, and today we have spoilers for Campaign 3, Campaign 2, Echoes of the Souls is one shot, Campaign 1, spoilers for everything. I'm just gonna use this forever as the template of spoilers before a video. Spoilers. And with a spoiler warning out of the way, we can now talk about where is Vath Bernardo slash what is she going to be doing moving forward. And for those who don't know, who don't care about spoilers, and are still watching this video, Vath in the Echoes of the Solstice one-shot, elected to not join the Mighty Nine in fighting Trent Ikathon as she had other responsibilities. She now has a uh, pre-teen slash teenager son who is a menace and she wants to make sure he's okay. She has her husband that she wants to sort of be with and spend time with. And she has a camp of young people, much like Luke, that she's looking after almost 24-7 as she is now a camp runner. So she realistically couldn't for many different reasons join the mighty nine and sort of give up her responsibilities this led to luke bernardo leaving with the mighty nine against the wishes of her mother and realistically against caleb's wishes and yeah then the rest of the echoes of the solstice episode happened and now we are sort of left in limbo wondering what's going to happen with both veth and luke and today i sort of want to talk about what i think is going to happen with both characters so starting with veth and whether or not she is going to appear in campaign three or not, it's yes or no. Realistically, it's cut and dry like that. Yes only happens if she's elected that it's too dangerous for this threat to be looming over her and for her to, you know, not feel confident in the rest of the Mighty Nine and to sort of want to join in so they can have that extra bit of help, which I don't think is possible. I don't think is going to be like the the big issue here there's not, not not only is there the mighty nine but the bells hells are there and it looks like a good portion of vox machina is going to be there i feel like if veth takes a greater look at the scope of everything that's going on her not being involved is not going to you know change that much especially in her mind in her mind she's probably like if they were able to deal with trent they're not going to need me it'll be okay so i highly doubt Veth will show up in campaign three and the reasons that she won't are the same as what I just listed before. She's in charge of a camp, which she might have sent everyone back home, but then she also has Luke and her husband that she wants to sort of spend time with. If these are potentially end of the world times, she wants to spend it with her family, which makes a lot of sense to me as to why someone wouldn't want to necessarily leave them, potentially die somewhere in the battlefield, and then they die somewhere else. If you're going to die with your family, you want to die with your family. If you're going to die, you want to die with your family. So, you know, I definitely see her not joining as a bigger uh, chance than her joining. There is a chance that she joins and it does help, but I highly doubt it, especially if she didn't want to deal with a very personal thing for her best friend, Caleb. So the fact that she didn't join in with the fight against Trent, to me, signifies that she won't join in this battle against something she has nothing attachment-wise to. So, yeah, I don't think her she's going to be showing up in Campaign 3. Sam has this thing with all of his characters, literally all of them with the exception of maybe Terry, and that is... In his mind, and he says this and echoes this in the uh, campaign two wrap up, it was basically that if your character is a part of an adventuring group, they should always be thinking about leaving said adventuring group. And that is a philosophy that seems to be ingrained in every single character he has. Scanlan leaves Vox Machina after they sort of involve his daughter in a way that he didn't want her to be involved in. Uh, Veth had a full arc almost or a handful of episodes dedicated to the idea that maybe she's just going to stay with her family much like she is now currently which is why I believe that she's not coming back if she finally elected to sit on this laurel of hers that she's going to not be a part of the group then she's not going to be a part of the group anymore there was an entire episode where Sam just sat there basically silently where we cut to Veth and her family just a little bit throughout the episode and there was many times throughout that same episode where fans and the other cast were thinking that they were going to turn a corner in the city that they were in at the time and they would be introduced to a new Sam Regal character a la Terry and Darrington. So this, there was a huge fan you know, thing going on. I, I was watching these live and I was watching the Twitch chat and every time they made a turn and Matt would start some sort of conversation about who they see, everyone started speculating, oh, this is the new Sam character. And then FCG has many moments in Campaign 3 where they've gone to Dancer and have said, if Dancer wants me to go with them, I'm going to go. This has happened, I think, two or three times now with Dancer and conversations that they've had. And 
I believe that FCG would leave. We're at a point now where FCG probably won't leave anymore. There's been closure with that storyline. So I think FCG is now firmly planted in a, you know, this group. But I would imagine that if Frida were to come back in some capacity and say, hey, come with me, I don't want you to risk your life, they would leave definitely this time. In fact, they almost did leave when the Frida and uh, the other two, I'm, my, my mind's spacing, uh, Prism and Deanna, said that they were going to go elsewhere with Frida, FCG almost left with them. So the fact that this is still a thing that all of these characters go through sort of puts in my mind that Veth is kind of done. To finally pull the trigger and be done tells me that Veth is fully done this time. So I don't truly think she's going to show up in Campaign 3 in any meaningful capacity. She could, but I just don't think so. I think we're actually more likely to see Scanlan show up for the diversion so they can get onto the Red Bridge than we will ever see Veth Bernardo in a combat capacity ever again. So now it's time to talk about Luke and if I think Luke will appear in Campaign 3. And I, no, fat no, I don't believe Luke will be appearing in Campaign 3, especially after everything he pulled in the Echoes of the Solstice. I think uh, Caleb is going to ground him. I think Veth is going to ground him. And he is going to be stuck wherever the hell they want to put him for the entirety of what's happening for the rest of Campaign 3. I think this character is actually more suited to appear in something like Campaign 4. In my opinion, I think Campaign 4 is going to have a much larger time skip than the last two. We had, I think, 30 years of a time skip, maybe like 35 years of a time skip from Vox Machina to now. So I think we're going to have another bigger time skip, maybe another 35 to 40 years. And I actually think Luke is going to be a character that one of the players will play. It doesn't have to be Sam, especially if Sam has already played that sort of class, unless Sam wants to go full wizard and they reset Luke's like stats altogether. I think Luke could be a perfect character who sort of blends Veth and Caleb's personality traits together and becomes like a drunken wizard who's down on his luck and wants to sort of come back up and become a strong wizard once again. Sort of like a mixture between Veth, Caleb, and Bertrand Bell. I think that would be a very fun character for whoever wants to play Luke in Campaign 4. Not to mention, this also fits the uh, the short character thing that Sam has going for him, where he only plays short characters with the exception of Terry and Darrington in campaigns. So if they did eventually want to use Luke again in any capacity, the entire cast likely could. I could very much see Travis playing as Luke because... Luke had a very strong connection and like respect for Ford, and I think that would be something for Travis to mess around with and would be a, you know, if he did go the whole wizard way, that would be like Travis's step away from melee combat, which would be cool. But this is just a theory and a crackpot theory of that. I highly doubt this will actually happen. It's just something that I've been thinking about recently that Luke could be set up for campaign four as a player character, which I think would be really cool. And there you have it, my opinion on if Luke and Veth will be appearing in Campaign 3. The short answer is no. So if you wanted to skip to this point in the video, there you go. You got your answer. No. No, they are not going to be appearing in Campaign 3. Way to undermine my video. Anyway, I will see you guys on Friday for the recap of Episode 77, I believe. Numbers aren't my strong suit. And I will talk to you guys then. Peace.